Hi everyone, I'm going to show you a really quick, easy craft for you to do. Um, it's a nice, cute little spring craft for your kids, uh, ages 2 to 5 um, or older if they want to do it. Or um, The 2 year olds may have a little bit of um, needing some more help, but mine was able to do it and both of my kids did it. My son is 3 and my daughter is 4 and these are their little chickens that they made. And they learned a little bit about the chickens that are hatching right now during the springtime. Um, you don't really need a lot of stuff around the house. Um, I just use those cheap uh, plates that you get from the store. You'll need either one or two of these. Um, if you do only have one available or you just want to use one, you don't want to waste one, you can uh, use like a paper towel or something to put the paint on so they can dip um, their fork in. So you will also need a plastic fork. This is an easy cleanup, so you can just throw all this stuff away, less stuff you have to worry about. Uh, you also need a black marker or googly eyes, whichever you have. If you have a couple of these in your craft closet, great. If you don't, black marker is perfectly fine. A brown marker, and I took these right from their craft bin. Um, a brown marker just for their feet. And I have lots of scrap paper running around, so construction paper or cardstock. Or you can just get a white piece of paper and color it orange. Um, whatever works for you with what you have available just to make a little beak for your chicken, your little baby chick. Um, and then just some glue to put the googly eyes on as well as the, the beak. And paint. I use the glitter paint, which is funny because my friend, I told her to go get me some paint so I can do this project with my kids. And the only thing that was available at the store at that time was the glitter stuff. So we have little glitter ones today instead of yellow. So just regular yellow paint is perfectly fine. This is super easy to do and it can teach the kids a couple different things like their fine motor skills to be able to take the fork and dip it into paint. And this is all they're going to be doing is just taking it and dipping it in the paint just to get it yellow. And all you need to do is just make fork impressions to make it look kind of like a feather. Let's see if I can get that glare off for you. And they're just going to do it around in a circle. And I kept telling my kids this is for a circle, so it kind of helped them learn their shape a little bit. And you're just going to keep going around until you have the shape done. While they were working on it, I did tell them a little bit about chickens that are being hatched right now. Um, since it's spring now and all the animals are having babies and we're able to see some of them, like the baby uh, birds that are outside, the baby rabbits, baby squirrels, you can catch one of those. Sometimes baby snakes are running around. Um, I like to tell the kids some different facts, kind of like chickens can only taste saltiness, not sweetness. Something interesting I've learned. So maybe you can feed your child a salty snack while they're uh, doing their craft and let them know if they can't taste sweetness. So maybe some saltine crackers or goldfish crackers or something like that. Um, I also like to let them know that the uh, mother hen actually turns her eggs about 50 times a day. So another thing you can do after this craft is take your kids to a safe area that's open and tell them to turn around 50 times, which I don't think we'll be able to do it that fast. Um, but it'd be fun just to let them be able to turn around, get some energy out. So different things you can do with your kids. Um, another thing I like to let the kids know is that chickens actually have pre prehistoric roots back to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. All kids like dinosaurs, it seems. So I think that was a kind of an interesting thing that I've learned while looking this up. Um, mother hens actually talk to their chickens while they're in the egg which is also another interesting fact. And the chickens can actually talk back to them while they're in the egg. So then once you're done with your impression, it'll look kind of like this. And all you need to do is just draw on the little legs. Um, the older kids could probably do their own. Uh, the younger kids, you can do it for them. And then they get a little, all excited and everything when you, you see their chicken actually come to life. And you just take your glue glue eyes with your glue and you're gonna glue those on. And I'm just gonna, it's just the basic Elmer's glue that you use for all your crafting stuff. If I can get my thing to work. 
Another interesting fact about chickens is that they can actually dream in full color. I have no idea how they figured that one out, but that is interesting. So just different things you can teach your kids and some things they actually kind of hold on to the, that information and then they'll repeat it back to you in a week or so or they'll repeat it back to their grandparents and they'll look at you kind of funny. After you get your eyeballs on, you can put the beak on. And I let my kids choose which way they want to put it on. Kim put her beak on sideways. And Jeremiah put his facing down. So let them do what they want to do since they're kids. And you can either wait till the paint dries or you can just do it right away. Uh, for this video, I'm just doing it right away. So just something really easy, quick to do. I got this uh, off of Ma's and Paws off of Pinterest. Uh, some of my information, the facts that I got was off of the fact site with chicken facts and critter babies. So just some different things you can teach your kids um, all about this kind of time. This is a great time to teach them, especially with spring and everything coming up with the flowers and then with the new life and everything like that. So yeah, it kind of stinks that we're home, but there's a lot of different things we can still teach our kids. So have fun with your little baby chickens and enjoy doing this little cute craft with them, and then you can hang it up so they can keep looking at it for a couple days. Thank you.